Hey, John Cruz here, getting ready to go out here on, on Lake Eufaula. Kind of a cool fall morning. We're out here at the Writers Conference. Uh, we've got a bunch of people together, showing off all new products. We've only got about an hour to make this happen. Uh, so hopefully, we can get a little uh, pull pull on the uh, Little John XL. We've got some deeper grass lines out here on Eufaula. And uh, I'm gonna take that, that crankbait, run it down some of these grass lines, see if we can make it happen. Uh, big bait's kind of become the, the craze. Uh, in the last couple of years, a lot, a, lot of, a lot of tournaments being won on bigger baits. This is a bigger shallow running crankbait, so it runs about uh, eight or nine feet deep. So I think it, I think it might be a good, good pick for, uh, for these grass lines. We'll see. There he is. Trying to get in that grass. I have him in the belly here. There he is. We're out here cranking this uh, this grass line, and I guess he just came out and charged it. Got this tropical perch colored uh, spro, little John XL, and uh, he came out and just blasted it. <laughs> he knocked slack in it. He's not a great big one, but uh, he knocked slack in it. I'm sure we'll get a, get a, maybe get a chance at a big one here later. That one hit the crap out of it. I just felt the boom and then it was, uh, it went slack. I guess he hit it from behind as hard as he hit it. I was hoping somebody else would be in the vicinity. We got the wind blowing in here, low light. We got shade on this side. Got us. A lot of stuff in our favor, hopefully. Get a few more. As I'm cranking this little John XL, I'm just I'm trying to get that bait down there to, to where I think the strike zone is. Sometimes I can feel it hitting that grass, but I mean whether you're fishing grass or or rocks or what or whatever, with it just like with all the little Johns, it's got that slow float action. So as I stop it, just like that right there, the bait's not gonna gonna go flying up back up to the surface. It's gonna kinda hang around there and have a nice slow float and linger around in that, that strike zone a little bit longer. So uh, it's one of the things that I designed into the bait uh, when, I, when I did it. And, that, and that's, that holds true for all the Little Johns. When you're fishing this grass, a lot of times you, you, you get to thinking, ah, there's nothing out here, there's nothing going on. And you can hit the right little stretch and all of a sudden change your, change your day. Usually when you're fishing grass, it's like it is right here. It's just you know tons and tons of grass. So you, they definitely use the grass lines like any other break. So that's definitely where the action usually is. I'm surprised it's not bogging in the grass more. I guess it's hydrilla, so that hydrilla so hard just comes right through it. Boats anywhere from eight to ten feet. I think that's kind of. I think it's just a big flat, and that's what most of the depth is. And then you can see where the where the grass kind of visually tops out, but even it's it's all the way down to you know under the boat, but it comes up uh, you know, anywhere from you know six to eight foot from the surface. But a crankbait's just coming right over the top of it. I can feel it, you know, just ticking it and you know, like breaking free. So we weren't able to pick up another fish, but I tell you, uh, this, this Little John XL is gonna be really good anytime you wanna go after those bigger bites, uh, especially in that pre-spawn period when, when those fish are, are gearing up for the spawn, they get, they, they're coming out of the deep, uh, you know, water starting to warm up, they, they start getting around those rocks and things like that uh, in that pre-spawn period. It's gonna be real good uh, that time. And then also in the post-spawn, when the fish get off the beds, they start feeding back up again, but they don't get out there real deep. They get in that six to eight foot range. Uh, that happens a lot on, on a number of lakes I can, I can think of. Uh, it's gonna excel at that time. And then, you know, any time like we have here on Eufaula, where the, the grass line's grow, growing out there into that six and eight foot range, you can, uh, you can crank the ends of that grass, comes through it. I mean, we came through uh, a ton of hydrilla today. 
and it was uh, it was just ripping through it real well. So uh, the bait definitely comes through grass well. So that's the uh, that's the the Spro Little John XL comes with number two round bin Gamagatsu treble hooks on it already. Don't have to change those out. I was fishing it on 14 pounds Sunline FC Sniper. Definitely. Um, a uh, real, good, real good line for ripping out of there. It doesn't stretch a whole lot and it's extremely sensitive. Got on a uh, Cashin seven foot, um, medium heavy crankbait rod. Something that you can, you can definitely heave out there because this, this plug weighs almost three quarters of an ounce. Um, and if you're in any doubt, you can throw it on the, uh, the Cashin DD90476. That, um, that's what I like when I'm fishing it. Um, you know, in more open water, you know, on points, making real long casts with it. And then a six four to one gear ratio reel so that you can uh, you can retrieve that bad boy in at a fast pace if you need to. So it, they don't seem like they're they're real aggressive on that aggressive uh, crankbait bite. So I want to. Well, there's still a lot of grass. We got some low light conditions. Got some fog rolling in. So so I'm gonna make a little switch. See if uh, something a little bit slower is not gonna key in a few more bites. Uh, I'm gonna go old school. Old school. I'll pull out the Carolina rig uh, with a light little mojo type weight on it and uh, see what happens. All right, so we just got the Carolina rig all tied up. Got the cylinder style weight with the single bead uh, down to the, the Spro swivel. Got about a two foot Sunline uh, 14 pound shooter, fluorocarbon leader down to the Gamakatsu 3 aught offset shank round bend worm hook with the little missile baits. Destroyer, all that strung up on a Three, uh, seven foot three inch, medium heavy, cash and rod, high speed reel. Go put it to work. And we tried this uh, Missile Baits Baby Destroyer for a little bit on a, on a Carolina rig. Uh, you know, that is a great way, you know, to just kind of catch fish anywhere, almost any time of year. Uh, you know, it comes through grass real well, comes through rock, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's good, good bait for searching and trying to find where the fish are. Uh, if you don't know any better, uh, you can make real long casts with it. Maybe get a couple bites, kind of give you an idea of where the fish are. So uh, that's the, uh, the Missile Baits Baby Destroyer. Real good on a Carolina rig, also good Texas rig, and uh, fished a various number of ways. I like to fish that Carolina rig with a 16 pound shooter fluorocarbon as my main line. Uh, Cashin, seven foot, three inch, medium heavy rod, high speed reel, and of course, everything here can be available on TackleWarehouse.com. That jig head will come right through any kind of cover, uh, brush, comes through some types of grass. It's a finesse shallow running crankbait, meaning that the bait is uh, 50 millimeters long. We just made the second cast on the new bronze eye shad and we caught this beautiful uh, spawned out female as you can tell.